What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Jade Ferrer for the Jade Ferrer Show, and we're doing something a little bit different today. I know I'm usually talking about really important issues and really important topics, but today I want to do something else that I really enjoy. And one thing that I really enjoy is gaming. And today, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we have Slither. Dot io. You can thank my family for making me completely obsessed with this. Um, I've only honestly had a few goes, uh, just so I can know what the controls are and what the rules are. But it's fair to say I'm still very much a novice. Uh, in, the, in the match that I was in yesterday, I'm reasonably sure that PewDiePie was in there. I could be wrong. But anyway guys, enough talking from me, let's get into Slither, leave me a comment down below, do you play Slither, um, how long have you been playing it for, what do you think of my ability to play this game? I have to say that Slither.io is probably one of the most accessible games I've ever played, uh, there's actually not a lot of games that I can play too easily because of the need to use two hands. Uh, granted, you know, things like first-person shooters and some racing simulators um, I can't play, but Slither doesn't have any of those problems. All you need is a mouse and the ability to left-click on that mouse, and you can pretty much be a champion on this game. It does take a little while to level up your worm, uh, so I may cut throughout the video, but... I won't try to hide my uh, genuine ability. If I die, you will see me die. If I get eaten, you will see me get eaten. Anyway guys, that's enough from me. But just to say, if you're not interested in gaming, if that's not what you come to the Jade Vera show to have a look at, uh, feel free to click away and check out some of the other awesome videos that I have going. Anyway guys, let's get into it. Uh, let's check my skin. I quite like this one considering the elections are on at the moment. Uh, the presidential debates anyway. So let's go. Now I don't pretend to be amazing at this game. I don't pretend to be an absolute pro. Just because I said, you know, it's one of the more accessible games doesn't mean I'm not going to die. I probably absolutely will. I'm still kind of like a first time driver. Whenever I see anybody else, I kind of freak out. But let's see how we get on in this match. I have a reasonably beefy machine. Not that you would need one for this. Uh, that also makes the game quite accessible in a different uh, sense. Apologies if you can actually hear the fans in my computer going. I do have my machine overclocked so it's kind of important to uh, keep everything healthy inside there even though I have a, a water cooled machine. Um, you've still got to actually treat the water quite well. So at top rank... Oh jeez! That was me because I took my eyes off the ball and started looking at the uh, leaderboard. Not going to do that again. Let's have another go. See it didn't take me very long to get taken out at all. We have some absolutely ginormous uh, worms at the moment. And I've been sealed in and swallowed up. Wow. <laughs> That's the thing, I mean, th there is definitely a... I don't even know if you can call it a learning curve because there's like these other massive worms around and they have the ability to completely 
swallow you whole like a boa constrictor and there's really nowhere you can go so if you've got any tips around for the uh please let me know um this is this is like one of the first times i've played it i might have had three goes before turning on the camera just to learn the controls Now I'm playing with a mouse and the instructions you know via the website tell you to use the mouse but other people seem to be a lot more precise in their motions with their worms so I don't know if that's just me or and also a lot of people are taking advantage of the turbo whereas I don't like to do that until I get a lot bigger because turbo kind of means that you lose ah jeez talking and playing is not easy and we're back guys um i didn't get very far at all uh during during that um this time around i'm actually gonna try and use turbo speaking about online games uh let me know in the comments down below what are some other online games that I should be checking out. I really think Slither is quite cool because you don't need a full-blown PC or a console to be able to play this. I have purchased it for my iPad and using your finger to navigate the worm is a little bit interesting but I much prefer the PC version um, just for the accessibility, uh, not only for disability, but you, you know, in terms of what I just said before about not needing a console, you don't need a computer. It's just, it's just really great, and it goes without saying, it's kind of beautiful as well. It's kind of approachable for kids. You know, there's, there's no, nothing violent about it even though you're eating the remains of other worms at times there's nothing graphic or bloody or anything like that I'd be really interested to see how big I can really get I mean if it takes me too long to get big I might cut away but I definitely um, I definitely won't distract you from how the session has gone if I do cut away. I'm actually avoiding a lot of worms here. I wonder if I need to be in it. Ah, jeez. Just as I say that. One of the things that I realized about this game is that um, you definitely have an easier time growing um, when you're eating other worms. Uh, the strategy that I've got, you know, picking up these scraps around the outside, it kind of works, but uh, you, you really need to be eating other worms to get anywhere at all in this game, so. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a radar down in the bottom right hand corner there that lets you know where you are as far as the the game map so I'm trying to work my way to where the potential action is we have some really strategic players and I uh, you know when it gets busy like this it's, it's really hard to know exactly what what to do like that <sighs> That was one of my better rounds this round. So what other people will try to do is, you know, in terms of the rules of this game, you're not allowed to bump into anybody. But what people have realized is, if they position themselves appropriately, they can make it so that you bump into them. So whenever I see anyone, I get slightly, uh, nervous as I was just then if I stop talking guys it's because um 
I'm fighting for my life. Nothing you need to be concerned about, really. Wow. I'm not sure how I feel about that one, because that guy headbutted me. I'll have to get that on instant replay. It takes a while to get started in this game, it definitely does. But once you start getting big, like some of these ginormous guys here, then you have the ability to take advantage of your size and potentially trap other smaller players or worms. The interesting thing about this game is that um, you're not stronger by being big at all. There's no real advantage to being big other than you have more mass where you can trap people and get them to bump into you. You can smash into a smaller worm and that would mean that you you are you are dead basically. And I'm actually starting to get real big right now guys. Uh, this is quite possibly the biggest I've been since playing so I don't want to mess it up by slamming into a smaller worm because that would suck. And we just got a smaller worm there, so we're gonna swallow that up nicely. Avoid these guys over here. And come back down here. Wow! Wow, that was such a tactical move, that one. Ah, oh, jeez! Jeez, we'll have a couple more goes guys and then I'll have to find a new way uh, to justify my existence for the day but that last that last round what a crock that was and I'm not even ranking anywhere close to the leaderboard at the moment I'm 206th um, on the leaderboard so I've got a long way to go before I can call myself pro at this game. Potentially I need to be utilizing turbo a bit more. Especially when these clusters of food around here like this. Definitely wouldn't hurt me to speed up. A lot of other worms do speed up quite a lot so maybe that's part of my strategy gone wrong that I'm simply not doing that as much as others. People are just zipping around right now, man. I I really can't believe this. Frame rates are even dropping on my monster machine. It's probably because I'm recording, to be fair. Such a such a beautiful game though, you know, I said this earlier. Really beautiful game, Re really nice use of colour. Nice light simulations. This is a really approachable uh, game for the school holidays. In New Zealand right now, um, primary school kids are on school holidays. If you're stuck for what to do and you don't have a lot of money, for at least a couple of hours anyway, Slither would be a great choice. And that guy just completely cut me off. Okay guys, this uh, this will be the last game for the day. Don't want to make this video too long. Yummy in my tummy. Nom 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 nom. So yeah, if you didn't know, using the turbo button um, uses up your food, so... There's a fine balance. You know what? 
I'm not pleased with how that went actually. I was a little bit uh Yeah, we're gonna have another go. We're gonna have another go. We're not gonna leave this alone. That guy is just ginormous. Like how do you even get that big? You'd have to be playing on here for hours to get that big. Okay, that's it guys. We didn't get too far, but I just wanted to uh, share with you one of my favorite games at the moment, Slither.io. I would, de I would definitely blame this on my family in terms of getting me involved with this. It is a free game. Simply go to Slither.io and you can jump right in and play. You don't need a beefy computer whatsoever. Uh, and by the way, I'm not I'm not promoting this website. I haven't been paid for it. Uh, this is simply something that I wanted to share with my fans. Uh, something you can do in your spare time. Uh, something that is very accessible to play for people with disabilities. Very accessible to play in terms of your hardware requirements. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the change of pace. Uh, not talking about various issues and just simply having some fun. Thank you for being a part of the channel. Thank you for being a part of the journey. And if you like gaming, we might see you in another one. I hit repeat on the bass, been beating beats to reflect. Gripping heat with the pen, but helping mom understand. I love to do what I do, and some days it made me a man.